basically electrostatics demo, so that means electrostatics, so electricity that's not moving. Um, the first one that we're going to do, we're going to start off, I have a piece of plastic and I have a piece of fur. And when I rub the fur, it may look about the same, but something actually happened to this. And it goes back, um, there's a convention by Benjamin Franklin. He basically said when a piece of plastic or a similar material, he used rubber, is rubbed with fur, that means that it has a negative charge put on it. Now what a negative charge means, So if this is my rod, inside it we have electrons and protons. Electrons, which I'm going to mark as a negative, those are charges um, inside an atom that have a negative charge. Protons, we mark them as a positive, those are inside the nucleus of an atom and those have a positive charge. Inside a normal plastic rod, we have an equal number of protons and electrons. So we call this a neutral rod. It means there isn't, it's not charged one way more than it is the other. Now what happens when I bring our piece of fur and I rub it? It's something called charging by contact. What I'm doing when I rub this rod is it actually takes electrons, so the negatives, from the fur and adds it to the rod. So we are going to draw this showing that E, or that electrons, are going from the fur to the rod. So I'm going to add some electrons on there. So now if you look on this rod, there are more negative signs than there are positive signs, meaning that there are more electrons than protons. Um, so this is something called charging by rubbing. Um, okay. Now, next one says, what happens if I have two rods and I rub them both with fur? So I'm going to rub, here I have this hanging rod. And I'm going to rub the pointed end of this hanging rod. So that means this end of the rod has more negatives than positives. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to rub this as well, meaning that there are more negatives than positives. And when I bring it near, you can see that the rods want to stay away from each other. And it's not only spinning one way, because if I bring it around, they're pushing each other away. This is something called repulsion. Um, when I bring two of the same charges together. So either a positive charge meets a positive or a negative meets a negative. Both of these repel, meaning that they're pushing away. Now, on the other side, if I bring, if I have a positive meet a negative, They will attract. And we are going to do that in a little bit. Now, if I take plastic and I rub it with fur, we said that causes a negative charge. Now, let's see what happens. We can use other materials. For example, here, I have a glass rod. So if I rub the glass rod, hang one here and I'm going to do the same test and we're going to see what happens. So if I hang the glass rod and I'm going to rub this end of the glass rod. So this is your left side of the glass rod. I'm going to keep it hanging that way. Now I'm going to rub this glass rod. We're going to see what happens. So, it may not be as extreme, but definitely they're pushing away from each other. Now, this may make you think, hmm, well, before I had a plastic rod and a plastic rod, we did that same test. 
And when I did that, they repelled. And we said, well, this plastic rod was negative. This plastic rod must be negative because negative meets negative and they repel. Well, you might think about the same thing with a glass rod. I think, okay, well, they're coming together, they're repelling. But actually, we have another option here. Positive could meet positive. Now, what happens there? So now, this is my glass rod. In my glass rod, before it's rubbed with fur, once again, it's nice and neutral. Even number of positives, even number of negatives. But now, when I rub the glass rod with fur, what happens are all these negatives, they run off the glass rod. And they run away. So this guy is going to go up here. He's going to go away. This guy is going to run up there. He's going to go away. So they're going from the glass to, to the fur. So now if we look here, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five positives and only two negatives. That glass rod has a net positive charge. Now a way we can test this. If I take the rod, I'm going to charge it up again. So I'm going to claim this end has a net positive charge. Well, a way that we can test this is what happens if I charge this plastic rod. We know this has a net, we'll have a uh, negative charge. And if I bring this negative next to the positive, as we claim they should attract. So let's see, if I bring this here, look at that. Plastic is actually attracting right back this way. To the glass. Let's see if I can get that. Glass doesn't always say so well charged. Stop it, we can even show that it'll go the other way as well. So then clearly there's an attraction between the two rods. So you've shown if positive meets positive, they repel. If negative meets negative, that will repel. That was the plastic rod and the plastic rod, or the glass rod and the glass rod. And now we just showed also if positive meets negative, they're going to.